It's been three days, and this prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. Warchief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, Warchief. Warrior, has there been any word from Grom Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, Warchief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Grom. Where the hell are you? Hello everyone and welcome back to Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos. Yep, that's not really necessary. I'm fairly familiar with this game here. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, you will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Here are a few additional peons to increase the rate of gold collection. There we go. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. That is awesome. And this mission here teaches you the basics of base building and stuff. You will want to produce additional peons to construct the rest of your base. You have yep. just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground where you want the rally point to appear. Yep, and while all of this is happening, may as well kill some nodes, for which you do get gold. Training a unit takes time. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress indicator in the bottom middle. So In can order I build to support a... a larger population, additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Burrows provide the food that allows you to train more troops. To construct the Let's burrow, on select one of your peons. To increase the rate of which you collect lumber, train additional peons and assign them to harvest from the forest. Restless. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with these guys here just now, so yes. while you can hang out here and recover a little bit. Yeah, this mission here teaches you the basics of base building. Now click on the build structure button in the command Something card. Need doing? Could you please stop interrupting me? Thank you very Notice much. That additional buttons are now available. Yeah, overall the game isn't too di different from Ready Warcraft 2. You still have the, the buildings you would expect. Your your pop building. Here's the Altar of Storms, that's a new building. If Thrall gets killed, he can actually be resurrected here. Which is quite a neat mechanic because it does mean that work, work. you can actually lose your hero but you're not going to lose the mission immediately which actually encourages you to actually use your hero not just have them sit in the back of your base and what also adds to that is the fact that heroes regenerate so it's not like in Warcraft 2 when you play the orcs and you have a non-troll hero or you have a troll hero and you don't have regeneration then you, they just get damaged and then you're stuck with a damaged hero and have to essentially have them hang out in the back of your base because you can't risk them dying because then you lose the mission so we're also going to get some upgrades here, We're namely... War mills contain very we need more lumber. Yep, well we do have more lumber now. These are the basic upgrades, more defense, more offense. Now that your burrow has been completed, the peon who built it can be assigned to a new task. Which is awesome. So, and generally everything is a little bit faster. And the game is a little bit more generous. As you can see, we only collect 10 gold here instead of 100. But everything is also cheaper. The peons cost 75 gold instead of 400 gold. And the gold mines are also way deeper. So this one here, it would be the equivalent of a... You have accumulated enough gold and lumber to construct a barracks. This will enable you to train additional troops for your army. Something to construct a barracks, select a peon, click on the build structure button, and click on build barracks. Yep, and I don't know why that's so difficult. Yeah, so this this gold mine here is way deeper than most of the campaign gold mines from Beyond the Dark Portal, where you are often forced to to move to an enemy gold mine sooner or later. Naturally, this is a tutorial mission, so they're not going to make it hard for you. And there will be missions later on where you will be forced to expand rather quickly or conserve your your resources. But here, it's not too bad, really. 
So let's wait until this barracks here is finished, and then we can start building some grunts. We are going to move out then, but what we're going to do first is probably clear out these nodes here. But we will see about let's that. Get on with it. Thrall, you can actually hang out here. There's a reason for that. And the rally point will also be over here. So there's a bridge. Well, there's not a bridge here, but obviously there will be a bridge here at one point. There's alliance forces here, but these are just scout towers, so they can't attack. They only give you vision. So we don't really have to worry about those. And the barracks is almost finished. Upgrades are on their way. In fact, this one here is almost ready, which is awesome. So you can get me some gold, and, and I do have enough gold to Research build all the five. Continue producing grunts until you reach your quest requirement. Yep, it's on its way. Heroes are no longer affected by upgrades, no but regard, no it's actually kind of good because they're, they're fairly powerful anyway. They can get equipment, which is quite nice, and you probably don't want your heroes to get weaker from one mission to another just because you purchase an upgrade in one mission and then you don't have it in the next mission, or not, at least not at the start. Yeah, these these orc homes here, they look spikier than ever. And the they're now more like houses and less like farms, even though I guess that doesn't really make too much of a difference. So the Great Hall is still what you would expect. And it's just your HQ. Out of Storms, the only real new building, but it's not a bad thing. These are pretty much your standard RTS buildings, so there's nothing wrong with that formula. And the buildings, they're different between the different factions, and it's not just cosmetic differences. Different factions actually play quite differently. But we'll get to that once we actually play with the other factions. The Orcs also have their own dedicated campaign. This is just a prologue campaign. So no worries, we're going to have some more challenging missions with the Orcs. But for now, let's just hang out here, build some grunts and be happy about the Horde. Yeah, we currently play, well, Thrall is the war chief of the entire Horde, but we currently play as the Frostwolf clan, which is his clan. And... Grom is also in this game, he's still the leader of the Warsong clan. There's also a couple of other clans, in fact most of them are still around, but other prominent clans featured in the game include the Blackrock clan. I'm not quite sure whether the Blacktooth Grin clans in this game as well, but we'll get to that later. But I think the general assumption is that later on we do not only play as the Frostwolf clan, we just play as the United Orc clans. So, as you can see, stuff like chopping wood is also a little bit faster. So is collecting gold. So everything sped up a little bit. Construction, My some things seem to construct faster, some don't seem to be constructed faster. It's a bit of a mix, Spirits. but generally the game is a, a bit more fast-paced than Warcraft 2, which is not a bad thing because it's not like the units move fast or anything, but in Warcraft 2 oftentimes it just took you quite a while to get off the ground when you didn't have a base. And you kind of skip that in Warcraft 3, which is not a bad thing really. So. We're almost done with our grunts here, so let's just hang out here for now, and there we go. Got our grunt squad. You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Grom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Lothar Ogar! Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. Yep, more killing humans. Been there, done that. So let's kill these guys here. This is the footman, the basic basic human ground unit. There's also a captain. The captain is essentially a better footman. It's not a buildable unit, it's a special unit essentially. But are my grunts? My grunts are actually better than footmen, but they're also slightly more expensive. So there's there's difference now. And there's also a difference in the pop cost of wretched humans have been destroyed. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge and locate Grom. Yeah, we'll do. So I may as well might as well repair this. This, you know, these towers here. It's not necessary. Damaged during the fight. To repair a damaged building, select a peon, click the repair button, and then left click on the desired structure. You can also put your peons into auto repair mode, which is what I have done. It also this for auto casting here. These are just scout towers, so I think I'm going to skip them. I guess destroying them would give me a higher score, but who cares? Also, let's actually slaughter those nodes because I can. 
Yeah, I could build more troops, but it's not really necessary in this mission. So let's just make our way up here. And kill the nodes. You please fix these towers on me, that would be great. Yes. And you're apparently Burn out of work. Not quite sure why you should have been harvesting. But they do give you an indicator when you have idle workers, they which is pretty neat. And the units also cost... they have different pop costs in this For game. Honor. For example, a grunt the costs three, three food points, whereas the Master. worker only costs one, so... You no longer have the situation where it's not really worth building your basic footman because knights have the same pop cost. So if you want the biggest army, the biggest and most powerful army you can afford, just always build a knight. That has been averted a little bit. Look at that, a scroll of healing. That one is a little bit different than a healing potion that actually heals all my troops in a certain, certain radius. So it's a bit more useful and you can use it to heal your troop which is useful because at the moment I don't have the ability to heal my units with the orcs. I will have that later but we'll get to that. Actually is, is there anything... I don't think there's anything here is there. I'll use far side here. Nope it's just us trees here. So you are out of work so you can... I mean you didn't really need to repair those. Let's get on with it those towers because yeah. the humans aren't actually going to mount an attack against no. me here, but whatever. Also, I'm going to skip these towers here because they're just scout towers. So oh, I can't really be bothered to to destroy mm. them. I guess it would increase my score, but this is no. not a speed run, nor is it a high yes. score run, so I'm not really too concerned no. here. Yeah, there are a lot more neutral assets. Mm. In Warcraft 3 there's full villages, it's not just no. your actual structures plus a couple of special buildings. So there's, the whole game has a lot more character, which is great. So let's destroy this gate here. I don't think you can ever open gates. I think they either open via a trigger or you just have to walk them down. Yes. So here's a nice human village. For honor. Like how we're gathering, we were gathering the horde like a hundred yards away from, from a human village. But whatever, and here's a cage. So let's see who's in, in there after we slaughter these human footmen. Which takes a while, and here we go. Got ourselves another grunt, which is great. And anything here? Nope, it's just the fields. Here are some tents. Let's kill you as well. And liberate whoever is in this cage here. And there we go. Got ourselves a shaman. The shaman. It often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spells. By using the subgroup interface, Look you can do so without having to try to select them individually. Dabu. Notice that the currently selected For units honor. are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by the little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated subgroup. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the Your tab or just on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays the their spells in your command card. Thank you very much for that piece of information. Those were Dwarven Riflemen. They replace the Elves as your basic ranged unit. And they're also yes. your basic anti-air. This guy here, as you can see, has a similar attack to Thrall. He's just a ranged spellcaster. And this guy here has a, a, a purge spell which can remove enchantments from other units, which is pretty useful. It can also deal heavy damage to summoned units. Got another one of these. So we also have another level for Thrall, so we can either prove far side. I don't think it's super useful. This is pretty good. And also some spirit wolves. Yep, let's actually get that ability. We will gain enough experience throughout the campaign to pretty much get all the abilities we want, so no worries there. But actually, let's let's, let's summon the wolves, which also look pretty cool. So if an enemy shaman would cast Perch on those units, then... But the area is protected by fortified guard towers. Then destroy them. Hillstream must be free. Yep, murder everyone. Thunder. Here's another captain. It's a special unit, but he's essentially just a stronger, a stronger footman. So nothing, nothing really to worry about. 
These towers here actually guard towers, so they will shoot back if we shoot it. Well, rather, try to axe them down. But they're pretty weak. In fact, they're one of the weakest buildings defense-wise. This wolf here is also good for eating some damage, which my units won't take, but barely any of my units are damaged anyway, so... As you can see, these go down very quickly. Faster than a lot of other units. Both, I mean, buildings. So, let's walk you. And boom. Is there anything here? Doesn't look like it. Is there actually anything here? I don't think I can access this area, but again, may as well cast Farsight here once. There actually is, but the thing is, can I get over there? Doesn't really look like it, does it? No, it might just be that they didn't bother to put trees absolutely everywhere, but who cares? Oh, look at that, ships. Yeah, there's no naval units in this game. The expansion sort of has naval units, but we'll get to that. So let's kill you as well. And free Grom. And there we go. I am the watch. Ron, are you all right? I'm fine, little brother. Luckily, they only injured my pride. Great, because we're getting out of here now. We're leaving the human lands for good. Finally, follow me. I have an idea. <laughs> we can set sail on the humans' own ships. <laughs> Perfect. But we'll need to wait for the rest of the Horde. The Horde is assembled, War Chief. We await only your command. Now, go, young Thrall. Sail west to the lands of Kalimdor. It is there that you will find your destiny. It is there that your people's salvation will be assured. And there we go. We rescued Grom, and now all the orcs are going to sail to America. I mean, Kalimdor. Yep, yeah, that was the second mission. The actual prologue campaign ends here, but the original demo has more missions, which we're also going to play. And then we're going to find out what what happens on the journey. But that will be a story for another time. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.